My name is uh, B.G. Stevens. I was born in Glendale, right across the river here. This little community is five miles from Spartanburg. Glendale is on the creek, as you can tell, because if you're gonna run machinery, you gotta be downhill for the water. It was bought by a fellow, the property, by a fellow named Bibbings. I believe he was a doctor in North Carolina. And this was named Bibbinsville for a long time. Dexter Converse bought it and became the, the chief property owner here. And by that time, he had married, and his wife did not like the name of Bibbinsville. So she named it Glendale. Glendale pre predates Glendale, Arizona, and Glendale, California. So that isn't where she got the name. What it made here is uh, what's called gray goods. It's a French name. It means unfinished, G-R-E-I-G-E. -E. It means unfinished goods. If you get a piece of cloth, that's not printed or not dyed, that's a gray good. What they'd do is make the cloth, they would test it, they'd haul it to Spartanburg and send it out throughout the countryside to people who did print. They never had dyeing and printing here, which is a good thing for this reason. All the places that had dyeing and printing were highly polluted. When World War II came along, all of these textile companies we're in the business of making military, uh, military uniforms and military materials. Uh, Glendale was no exception to that. A lot of textile companies did not stay modern. So the ones that weren't modern went downhill. Uh, Glendale was one, and it ended up closing because it could not compete in the manufacture of cloth. And it sat empty for, from about 57 or 8, I would say, till the mid 60s, what you do in a textile mill is you oil the floor, like with regular old motor, motor oil. You spread it on the floor and rub it in. And that sounds counterintuitive, but an oily floor will not build up lint. In the middle of the night in March, um, this place got on fire. This whole mill was on fire everywhere at one time. We don't know how it started, how the fire started. My guess is that kids were playing around and messing around and it caught on fire and they panicked. Wofford was probably the most prestigious college that did not have an environmental studies program. This is a perfect place when you think about it. If you're going to develop an environmental studies program, you've got the woods, you've got the creek, you've got the reservoir, you've got all the makings of a first-rate environmental studies academic program, and that's what they do here. But people come here, they go down on the shoals, they walk down the trail, but we're going to have to figure out how we can capitalize on the interest here to support it.